Hello everyone, Sandy here. Today we are taking a first impressions look at the Creative Consciousness Healing Oracle deck. Um, I pre-ordered this um, together with my friend Jenny and uh, she has uh, recently sent a box um, to me for uh, filled with uh, things that I've ordered um, through her, basically, um, because she's got an easier time getting getting um, stuff like mass market decks than I do. So uh, she's been really kind and letting me order some stuff through her. And uh, we pre-ordered this together. And um, I can't wait to get into it. I will be doing a, a collection, or not a collection video, but a um, haul video uh, in a little bit uh, where I share with you all the new decks in my collection um, that I've brought in recently. But this is the focus for today's video. So I am very excited. This deck... Um, just called to me as soon as I saw it. I really love the art style. Um, it seems really cute and caring. Um, I'm just going to pause here for you for, so that those of you who are interested can read the back here. And you can pause and have a little read. And um, yeah, let's just get straight into it, shall we? So it's a two-piece two box uh, with thumb cutouts, um, very easy to open, just like that, nothing particular in there. And then we've got the guidebook on top. Um, it's not very thick, but um, from, what, from your, what you can see here, there's quite a lot of information anyway. The print is quite small, but it's not difficult to read, uh, in my opinion. Um, we also get a full page um, illustration of the card in question, which is really lovely. Let's have a quick look at if there's any... Is there no... Oh no, is there no table of contents? Ooh, oh, we don't like that. We don't, <laughs> we don't like that. There, there needs to be a table of contents, in my opinion, uh, just to make it easier... Uh, to find your way around but since they do have the big uh, one page illustration I suppose it's quite easy to just flick through um, in this fashion in order to find the picture or the card that you're that you want to find uh, and and the cards are numbered so I suppose that's that's a good thing but we still like a page of con table of contents so that uh, I can get easily take you through what's in the guidebook. Um, but we've got an introduction. We've got how to get the most out of this deck. Um, just general guidance on how to use the deck, I suppose. Uh, and then we get straight into the card meanings. And that's it. So very simple but we don't always need a big big guidebook do we um there we go it's just a regular box oh, look at the cute little backs that's cute um i can tell that this is going to be a deck that chips because we have just taken this out of the box and we already have a little chip there um that could be remedied by edging the deck in a dark purple, I suppose. Then you wouldn't see that um, at all. We also have a little bit of a scuff mark on the back there already. Looks like it's also going to be the kind of um, cardstock that picks up a lot of your thumbprints. Uh, but let, let's not start complaining the first thing we do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this down. The cards are actually quite big. Let me grab a standard size. This is a standard size Los Garabello card, um, tarot size. So you can see here it is quite a lot larger, um, definitely oracle sized uh, card. 
um, the cardstock is quite stiff um, so I'm not sure how it's going to riffle we'll see at the end when I try shuffling it okay so here we are so the first card here is composting decomposing energetic chords that's a very interesting keyword not the one that I've seen before the artwork is very whimsical kind of a child childhood kind of storybook vibe I love the little mushrooms and all the glowing little specks um, super cute moon shroom healing old brain patterns oh that's so pretty look at look inside her <coughs> robe there oh sorry i'm not even looking where i'm putting the card look inside her robe there it's like a an orb of glowing mushrooms and um like very very interesting healing old brain patterns i can't wait to see what the guidebook um, has to say we will pull a card and read it together at the end of this grounding rooting in the power of your purpose oh that's that's really sweet and you can see she's standing there on the same uh kind of illustration that we have on the back there i think yeah with the snake soft breeze allowing flow and ease oh that's so sweet i really love this illustration how she's just standing there with her arms wide and just accepting the energies all around her she looks like she's standing in a forest I can just feel feel the sense of belonging and relief when I'm watching this card. It's really sweet. And then she's also, if you look carefully, there's like a sun radiating from her like solar plexus area on her dress there. It's very, very cute. Breathe. Healing with your breath. nice as well and you can see again her lungs are kind of depicted on her chest there it's very clever nourish feeding the sweet animal of your body oh and then she's sitting there with a nice steaming cup of tea cute Purple diamond, manifesting your dreams. Oh, I really love this illustration. It's so, so sweet and simple, yet effective. It really kind of just pulls you into this world, this little, like, otherworldly place. <laughs> Helps that I like purple as well. <laughs> Nurture, giving yourself love, care, and encouragement. Oh, she's embracing her inner child, it looks like, or a past version of herself, or the more vulnerable part of herself is, on, is another way you can look at that. Water, experiencing the healing power of water. Ooh, I, I hope that all of the um, elements are represented in here. That would be cool. Rainbow boundary. <laughs> Protecting your true self. Oh, I love her dungarees. <laughs> I want them. <laughs> Belonging. Healing in community. This is, an, this is a, a keyword that I really love. 
I actually have this keyword included in one of my oracles that I'm working on. Uh, belonging is a very strong uh, need um, for me and and also a really you know a really strong word uh, that I, I connect with a lot. Healing in community. <laughs> She's so adorable. Look at her little face. I want those glasses. <laughs> Moon belly. Oh, healing your gut. That's so pretty. Oh, I really love that one. Wild energy, focusing on your create, focusing your creative power. We've got that same uh, illustration there again as on the back of the card. Um, with the snake. Hmm. Ice boundary, emergency energetic boundary. Ooh, okay. So I take that to mean that you cultivate um, some kind of emergency, um, kind of like if you end up in a situation where you need to protect your inner self or your um, kind of like your energy uh, that you have this kind of um, system in place in your mind where you can like like um, envision this ice boundary that's what that's what what this brings to mind kind of thing where you kind of just close yourself off to getting swept up with all the negative energy maybe I don't know bountiful healing a scarcity mindset Ooh, that is really cool. Healing a scarcity mindset. Mm. I like that a lot. Body connection, reclaiming the power of your body. This is something I need to work on, um, that I've been feeling a longing to move my body and a longing to to connect to myself and my body more deeply. So uh, I hope we pull this card. <laughs> Light cleanse, clearing stuck energy. Honestly, look at her clothes, they're so cute. <laughs> really love this light on the top of her head as well. Pink honeymoon, soothing hurt and inflammation. This is really sweet. Hot and cold, resetting your nervous system. Mm. I wonder if this ref is a reference to like hot and cold showers, like where you, um, where you first are in very hot water and then you switch to very cold water to kind of like shock your system um, that's super interesting self-trust building safety with yourself mm, this one really there's a lot of cards here where I'm feeling really drawn to them and uh, I think this is this deck has come to me at the, just the right time in my life. Pink lion protecting little you. Oh, how cute! Oh, how how adorable is this card? Oh, allow accepting all parts of you. I'm I'm not a fan of snakes, but this cute little pink snake that that keeps reappearing in this deck um, is quite interesting. Accepting all parts of you, it says, and then she's petting this like snake here. That's um, that's yeah, 
Wow. Violet flame, burning away what's no longer needed. Ooh. Self-soothing, creating safety and calm. I feel like this deck seems very geared towards, um, yeah, calming, soothing, um, realigning, nurturing, very uh, soft and calm energy for when you are in a agitated or um, debilitating state or maybe maybe when you are in troubled times and you really just need some help um which sounds perfect to me right now um oh i can't wait to start working with this moon path taking the next right step oh Boundary cloak. Oh my goodness. Gentle, loving protection. Boundary cloak. Oh, that's so clever. I love that idea. <laughs> Moon pebbles. Challenging yourself with compassion. Mm. Right, so... The challenge is you, you should challenge yourself, but not like in a massive way all at once, just a pebble at a time, you know, just one little pebble of challenge um, instead of the whole mountain of pebbles at once, you know, with compassion in between. I, I love that. Clarity, seeing and feeling the truth. Hmm. Moon money, allowing the flow of abundance. Hmm. Schedule, creating a relationship with time. Interesting. Pink fruit, realizing your dreams. Focus, being deliberate with your attention. Oh, this is something I definitely need to work on. I have such a... It, it's so easy for me to just check out and just engage in escapism for a whole day or several days in a row and, and then kind of wake up from the days and be like where where have I been what have I done like um which I suppose um this card would also help with these two together you know um managing your time better and uh, being deliberate with your attention oof yeah Past self, connecting with what was. Mm. Yeah, that could be uh, beneficial if you're in the right place. But I also feel like if you have a very troubled past, lingering too long in that is not helpful either. Um, there needs to be a very fine... Uh, tuned balance there I feel um, yes it's good to to um, go through and deal with your past in certain ways but also the past is the past and it's never coming it's not coming again so you need to also focus on what's what's um what's here and now you know but just connecting with it mm. i wonder really interested to see to read this guidebook and since it's not so thick i might just take and read it you know in one session um forgiveness forgiving yourself at a cellular level oh 
this this oh, cellular level that's the part that really got me there mm. this has seems to be such a such a sweet and wholesome deck and it seems to be a very nicely curated one as well like it's got hang on 44 cards So it's very focused um, and I really kind of appreciate that with this one specifically. Deep sleep, resting and sleeping deeply. Mm, I, I sure could use some of that right now. <laughs> Higher self, connecting with your inner guidance. Mm. True voice, communicating with your truth. Mm. Oh, I mean, what even is that? <laughs> in this point in time, I'm I'm feeling super lost, and my truth. Yeah, what even is that? <laughs> oh, receiving, opening self to worthiness. Oh, I love that card. Look at these colors. Opening self to worthiness. I super adore this, this card. It's so pretty. Future self. Also, we have a past self and a future self. Do we have a present self? We'll see. Connecting with what's to come. I feel like we've seen this exact illustration before. Like here's with here's the snake again, and I feel like this one, um, this exact person was standing on an orb of that snake. Hang on, if that's the case, oh no, it wasn't. It's not the same. That's the one I was thinking of. Um, and it's not the same, but I, and now I just realized why that's familiar. And that's because <laughs> it's on the box. <laughs> oh, how silly of me. All right. Simplify. Clearing away what you don't need. Mm, I need to do this. <laughs> Geode, transforming addictive thinking. Hmm. That's interesting. Geode. Oh, all of these are making me really interested to read the guidebook. And that's a really, I mean, if, if, if the keyword and the key phrase makes me do that, then, you know, I can understand it. And, and this is really cleverly done because I feel like the, the, what am I trying to say here? The the key phrase and the key word are open enough that you can you can interpret it yourself, but it makes you curious to hear what they've written in the guidebook as well, which is really good. Pink bees integrating your healing. Mm. <laughs> Pink bees. I mean, it's just so cute. I love it. Pink seeds, growth under the surface. Ooh, nice. And the last card is Mushroom Touch, Decomposing Shame. Ooh, love that. So we start with a composting card and we end with a decomposing card. See, oh, okay, we have composting, decomposing energetic cords, and then we have mushroom touch, decomposing shame. That's interesting. All right. So let's zoom back out and do the... I might actually end up trimming this because you can see here there's a lot of... Um, 
there's a lot of space between the number and the bottom of the card. Yeah, there's nothing there. So I will definitely, I think, be trimming this deck um, just because I like riffling my cards. And um, this deck, oh, we can see here it's the, the band around the deck has kind of left a little dent there in the card. Right, well, either way. Uh, I like briefly my cards, and as you can see, this is just way too uh, tall for me. Um, I could try it on the side. Which works, but I, I still kind of, I, I get such an enjoyment from riffling them. Um, it just makes me connect with the card so much, or the card so much more. It's very nice and um, not slippery, but it's it's not sticky. Um, it doesn't, they don't, the cards don't stick together in any way. Um, so they are very nice to overhand shuffle as well. You can hear that, if you can hear that noise sound. It's very soft, that's the word. It's very soft, kind of, and it gives you, yeah, the sound is very um, comforting to me. Uh, and I think it's because the cards are so large, it has a very, like, low-pitched, low-pitched sound as well. But they're even riffle shuffling. Oh, that card has a bit of a wrinkle to it, I just noticed. But yeah, even overhand shuffling, this is this is a big stretch for my hand. Um, and it doesn't feel uh, comfortable or um, easy in any way. Let's try it this way. I don't really particularly like shuffling this way because I have to lift so far and it, it, that happens. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will be trimming this deck. I already know that I will. Now when we've shuffled a little bit, we can still see the little gaps made from that band. Do you see that? Maybe trimming it a little bit off the sides as well will fix that. Alright, let's pull a card. Mm, I'm feeling that one. Higher self, connecting with your inner guidance. All right. Let's... So that's card 36. Let's see how easy this is to find now then. 12, 24, 27, 39, 30... Oops, 36 there. All right. Key concepts, higher guidance, free will, soul contracts, self-compassion. This card comes to you with the message that all is well and that your path is unfolding just as it should be. If you are struggling right now or feeling confused, overwhelmed or upset about an issue, try checking in with your higher self. The guidance you receive will be loving and aligned with your highest good and the highest good of all involved. Creative visualization. Imagine you're standing in a place where you feel so safe, relaxed and at peace. This could be a real place or imagined. You see a version of yourself in front of you and feel a soft you feel and see a soft pink light all around you. You remember being with this version of yourself before you incarnated and made plans for this life. Your higher self is so glad to see you and is glowing with love. They are holding a book, a large book, that the two of you worked on together. It holds every soul contract and life lesson that you wanted to experience on earth. Think of a situation that is causing you concern and ask your higher self for guidance. If you want to know more about your soul contract, ask your higher self to read from the book 
that they are carrying. Feel all of the love and care and respect your higher self has for you as you navigate being a human in this life on earth. Oh, okay. Journal prompt. Try journaling with your higher self and ask, what is in my highest good to know right now? What did my soul most want to learn on earth this time? Write your higher self's responses freely while you journal and just allow whatever comes up to come up. Wow, it's written really well. Um, I am not personally very... Um, very um, experienced with uh, this type of visualization or talking to my higher self, but I'm really intrigued. Um, I really, really want to read another another uh, card for you. So um, let me just pull one more card because I really, <laughs> I really just, this guidebook intrigues me so much and this deck is making me really excited. So let's pull one more card uh, because uh, I just want to. <laughs> All right, let's take that one. Soft breeze, allowing flow and ease. Love it. All right, and that's number four. So that will be easier to find. There we go. Key concepts. Allowing, relaxation, flow, sensuality, gentleness, self-love, rest, releasing control and receiving. The practice of allowing gen in gentleness, flow and ease can open your life in profound ways. We are so often swept up in a culture of urgency Hustle, strain and competition. Everyday demands can leave us feeling disconnected and burnt out. This card comes to you with the message, embrace ease. Try allowing yourself to be soft, open and relaxed, if only for a moment or two. If you're experiencing a time of stress, conflict or strain, this card is here as a gentle offering to connect with the soft breeze that you have to access inside to inside that you have access to inside despite outward conditions yeah creative visualization imagine you are barefoot in a warm place you can smell flowers and the ocean imagine you see something coming to you on a breeze it's the softest pink light flowing easily to you you stretch out your arms and allow all of that smooth, easy light into your body. It blows through you so gently like flower petals. It's easy to let go of anything you're carrying. The pink light is the most loving and caring presence. As you breathe in and out, you feel the gentle caress of this breeze. You know that you are completely safe and at peace in this place and that you can return here at any time. Journal prompt. Think of something that you want to allow in your life. Can you imagine it so soft and easy, like a gentle warm breeze? Imagine that you have allowed it into your life so easily. Try writing about how it feels to have already received this. Oh, this guidebook, you guys, it's so sweet and loving. I really, really love how, th how this is written, the way they express themselves. And these creative visualizations are very, very good. They're short and sweet, but it starts you off and you can read through it and rem basically rem memorize what it needs to, that, that you need to visualize. I am... Um, so happily surprised about this deck honestly it's it's just oh i can't i can't wait to get start some proper work with this deck i also really love all of this like the color palette in this it's all blues and pinks and purples some greens but still it's very inward you know it really feels like it's 
it's this place inside yourself almost like oh. I'm a little bit um I would have really loved to have all of the elements but I really feel like water is like the element of this deck almost like it's um the emotional care deck um so i'm not i'm not super mad at it <laughs> and i i do also think that well i suppose we had um the past self and the future self but we didn't have a present self card uh, I'm not too upset about that either because it feels like the rest of the cards, the rest of the deck is very much about presence, about um, yeah, focusing your attention, being present in, in your day-to-day -day life and, um, and really um, exploring yourself in a different way so yeah i am super excited about this deck please let me know what you think uh do you have this deck uh have you never heard of it before and now you really want it or is, is it really not for you i would love to hear all of your opinions uh in any case i can't wait i will start i will probably mod this straight away or today at least and then i will include it in my um mod video that i'm planning um that i've where i'm gonna just show you all of the recent mods that i've made because i've made quite a few uh, so in any case uh please take care of yourselves and be well my friends and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye